Hey everybody, Bo here. Hey, in this video we are going to pick up where we left off in Miami and uh, we are heading on to a cruise, but I want to give you an update and hopefully I can give you some tips that may help you along the way. Let's get into it. Alright, well let's first start with the update. So, you know, I'm a professional still photographer and been doing it forever. And uh, maybe a lot of you, like me, are coming of age. So, I just turned 35 for the 30th time. And uh, things are just strange. Life is just strange and I, this has happened to me a few times in my life and this one is a biggie because everybody looks younger and I guess you associate the age of when your parents and grandparents turned that age and I have officially semi-retired so no more commercial work only fine art so you never really retire. So, you know, a lot of people think they may know me, but if you really do know me, you know one thing about me. I am the kind of guy that's easygoing. I'd rather spread the love than the hate. And I uh, always look at the positive side over the negative side, the pros and cons. And I look at everything with a sense of humor. I can find humor in anything. So I just want to get that right out of the way. So when you hear me uh, talking a lot of times, think about humor um, because in no way do I ever want to offend anybody. So you reach the point in your life where you know there's more pavement behind you than there is in front of you. And uh, I have now have to accept limitations. I no longer chase storms. I was always Bo the Lightning Man. So you come to a point in your life where you know you have to accept your limitations. Plus, hey, you're in the last quarter, baby. This is it. So you might as well enjoy it. And it's kind of what you waited for. But uh, it's kind of a, for me, it's just, I've, it's just really strange. But I'm adapting. So another thing that I have to get off my chest. Don't call me a senior. I demand you call me Signor. Signor Bo, or as we say in Italian, Signore. So, uh, I wanted to get that out of the way too. So now, I'm gonna take you on to our cruise. To celebrate, I decided to book a cruise, a 10-day cruise. I love cruises. We started doing them when my son was really young because they have daycare and they also have great kids programs. So we would go on a cruise, everybody would get a great vacation. And another thing is the food. There's food for everyone. For us, food's a challenge because we look at a menu and we have to find something that everybody likes. When you're on a cruise, you don't have to worry about it. They have everything and it is such a great experience. Some people love them, some people don't. It's not everybody's cruise people. We are, we've been doing them for years. So, I booked a 10 day out of Miami on an older ship that was christened on December 13th, 1996. And we'll get into that more later. And that was a good number for us. I didn't know that until after we got on the ship. It's an older boat. The art on it was fantastic. I found it classy, and we pretty much went island hopping, uh, five different ports, five different islands. And I'm gonna take you along on that journey and also give you some tips along the way. So uh, first, I wanna show you the ship. It's a beautiful ship. It has a really long nose to it. Uh, again, I found it classy, decorated with a lot of art, and uh, when you book a cruise, you can check in a month early. And if you do that, you can request what's called an early check-in, and that would be 1130. 
you can get there you get on the ship it's a really nice experience easy to get on and then you go straight for the food and you go and you have lunch so that's the morning you may start off not even eating breakfast you're just kind of heading to the ship you're so excited you get on early you head for lunch and then you look for a place to kind of hang out and then you wait till one o'clock the rooms are normally ready you can get in and uh, get situated because you're going to bring your carry-on with you all your other luggage will be brought to your room that gets there from four o'clock four o'clock in the afternoon to eight o'clock at night they're usually pretty good about it so uh, now I'm gonna show you the room We're in 2620, and here is our room. There's Madonna. Say hello, Madonna. We finally made it, and boarding was pretty easy. And uh, we're on the second level. That's our window, and away we go. Here's a bathroom. If I can find the switch, there you go. There's a bathroom. Nice little sink. And then here is the closet. Whoops. Yeah, we like it. We got a good deal, so we're happy. All right, moving onward.
made it to Haiti. Labadee. This is uh, Royal Caribbean's private little island or part of Haiti. It's beautiful. There's Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the water. Cabanas, this is Nellie's Beach. A little ship out there. There's our boat. No, that's not our boat. Oh, there's our boat. Alright, it's not a boat, it's a ship. The water is crystal clear. Look at that view. Uh, and there it is. Render of the sea. And they even have lifeguards. And there were all the beach chairs. A little bit of snorkeling. Oh, but this water is just perfect temperature. Artist market.